it is Saturday, May 16th, 2015, and the stream is online. And I'll probably just stream one day today. Looks like my team has picked some decent heroes, like Undying. Undying is pretty solid with Medusa and Phoenix and stuff like that. Green player's like, man, last time I saw you, you were like 4.7k. What happened? And then... I let him know that I lost a bunch of points and I gained a bunch of points. And this is going to be one of the games where we're going to gain a bunch of points. I like our heroes a lot this game, actually. The enemy heroes aren't the worst thing ever. We have good items so far from the support heroes and stuff. Let's probably find Medusa items too. Those are really solid undying starting items, actually. Yeah. He's also held his skill point. That's always smart. Right through here. All right. Mm, I don't know what my gyro build for six point eight four is yet. The vial. The the ones I did yesterday, I probably would have. Hmm. The battle begins. I'd have to experiment more. Usually, I assert myself really aggressively in this version for the bounty rune, but Medusa benefits a lot from it. Right. Especially if she needs to get her wraith band recipe off of the courier immediately, so she gets an additional huge amount of damage versus SF because she didn't start with the wraith band. So I imagine that's what she's gonna do. Oops, I didn't block the range creep up. Oh, well. It's probably gonna be Beastmaster, maybe Beastmaster yeah. plus one. No, probably just Beastmaster. No, Beastmaster plus one. Beastmaster probably just is interesting. Beastmaster has boots. And a hawk? What the hell? Who summons a hawk this early? Kill the hawk. Get the hawk. I have a stout shield, so I'll just get a point in my passive and pick them. It's all good. We can just give her pal and hit them with passive and just wait for level 2. It's fine. I hate hearing complaints like that that are like after the fact and completely non constructive, but. That's like the equivalent of complaining that I got an SM shift to level 1, except he's complaining to the other guy that he got repel, which is fine because the Pudge very well may have ended up getting. Uh, what's it called? Rod at level 1, very common. Pudge. Quite good. A lot of the time, I'd say most of the time, Rod at level 1 is actually probably better on Pudge. I'm not a Pudge player though, so. Your top I've just seen a lot of punches just get rod level 1 and run people down. It seems to have some effectiveness. That said, I see punches sometimes get hooked level 1. Own people too. Ugh, my voice is cracking. They're not cracking, I don't know. That's a way to put it. Go on. This will come in handy. I'm not even going to comment on Pudge builds. I, I definitely don't play Pudge. That doesn't seem good, but at the same time, he's only had to use two tangos, right? Maybe he's styling on me with this mango. This is an enormous creep wave. We can maybe go on them now since we have a big creep wave. This way. Where is my dude here? He's level one, so he should probably be here to get his level two. But the, I think my supports are bickering at one another, which is not good. So why even? It's gonna be a long game. Don't start this early, you know. Over here. Can you upgrade the courier, please? Player is walking to the alpha. Thank you. Come on. 
I'll get experience for two creeps here, but I won't get the CS for them. Or will I? Hey, they're walking on me. Hey, they're walking on me. They're walking on me. They're walking on me. Alright, my fucking dudes are kind of frustrating me this game. But sometimes you get a game where there's not much you can do about the laning stage and you just have to um recover it later. Let me stack this. Don't fuck it up, please. More like and here, that's going to be one of those games. But I don't think I've really misplayed the landing stage at all here. Right. I have to hold for level 6. Recover farm. I'm not even like mad at them. I'm just like, I just doesn't matter what they're saying. Nice, good shit, dude. Dying Clicker is owning. It's good. Go. Hit him. Hit him too. Your top tower is under attack. Oh, we're not gonna get it. It's okay. Oh wait, maybe we'll. Nah, Your it. top tower is under attack. Not worth the chase. I bet one of them is bitching, like, oh, if he would have stayed on him, I could have healed Nuke to with Dark Punch. He's gonna clarity me. Why'd he ping me? I thought he was gonna clarity me, why'd he ping me? Come on. I won't hurt you. Watch me eat this tree. I hit the creep once. <laughs> Your bottom right. tower oh, we're in good shape this game. You sure? Sometimes you just have to do the US West. Uh, dragon fisting and mute your whole team immediately yeah. before anything is said. Like I don't know if this is a kill. Yeah. This doesn't look like one. I missed the CS to stare at the Beastmaster there. I really want my level 6 here, which involves getting solo experience because if. They're not gonna out level me, but. Here, I'll do the pull myself here, and I can stack it at the same time. This should deny the Beastmaster experience, and this will. Keep me at a level advantage. And I definitely don't want to hear anything the enemies say ever. Your middle tower There's never anything the enemies say in all chat that I ever fucking want to hear when I'm trying to win the game or taking the game seriously. Like, all chat shit is always worthless. I feel like if I were, were to play serious games ever again, I would just mute the enemy team immediately. Like, even in, like, stack versus stack games, when I know the, the enemy team and, like, I like the players on them, it's like, Still annoying. This way. I got some of the neutral experience there, actually. That was good. I'm actually just gonna dark pack to before I'm level 6 here because I know that I'm gonna get level 6. Dark rising. No. Over here. That's bad. I considered completing Akilla before I actually tried Seer, and then I remembered that that would be bad. And I did that because it was like I played Gyro the other day, and on Gyro I think that's good okay. a lot of the time. But on Sark I don't think it is. I'll actually pull this to the neutral here. I'm very confident there's no enemy nearby. Damn. I actually have a salve, I'll back off and salve in a sec. Oh shit! Oh shit, what the hell, there were two enemies there! Alright, well they could see me the whole time, that was a big mistake. But, I didn't even consider the fact that there was the Caudal plus the Beastmaster, because I didn't think that there would be a Caudal rotation, but the Caudal was there. Damn. Very unfortunate, I didn't even spend my gold there. Like, I got blasted by the Caudal, and I was like, okay, it's fine, I still have ult and salve, I'm fine. Oh, what the fuck? That's really lame. The Morphling DC too, so I win automatically after making a mistake. That's fucking stupid. The Morphling just rage quit. Well, that's pretty lame. The Morphling just rage quit, but we still have to win the game. That's nice. I get to make a mistake and then instantly win. This feels like I've I've been cheated into plus 25. That's actually... Ow. Fucking hate. Coddle is actually really annoying on Stark. I've seen people pick it against me a lot, and I didn't even realize how good it was until I played against it like multiple times. But Mana Leak is really annoying. But at least you can Dark Pact out of it. 
Blood Seeker ult is also really annoying. But Blood Seeker ult has always been annoying. I feel like the cooldown on it must be lower than it has been in the past, though. Because the number of times I get ruptured is ridiculous these days. Your top tower is under attack. I, I was really confident I wasn't going to die there too, I should have just ulted immediately as soon as I got blasted. But it's okay, because I get to automatically win, because my undying has slain the show of the bottom lane to the point of making the enemies rage quit. Epic. In the wall play, because he won me the game. I really want to go back to- I want to mute the enemy team again. I don't give a fuck about, like, the, their internal struggles, honestly. I've never cared less about the enemy team's strife, but I don't want to take the effort to mute them all again. The only thing I care about is plowing down these neutrals and getting the stack off over here for efficiency. Do a little landscaping in the woods because they still have to win the game, even though some retard DC'd. It's not time yet. Nice. That's cool. I was just thinking it's, it's overworked. Damn, I lost my passive. Oh, like uh, I thought it was not very efficient. Whatever. Oh shit! <laughs> um, don't worry, I was a strategic self deny by my gold. Mmm, questionable game so far, but um, it's okay. I automatically win. First game of the day, haha. Uh -huh. Safe lane or feed? Your top tower is under attack. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. It's actually pretty lame this guy ruined the game. I'll give him the retard marking. This could be this would be such I would be very concerned about losing this game if I mean we can still lose. We can still lose. I really want to win though because it's uh this is dumb of me to go for that CS because there's a pudge and a coddle in the fog. And a beastmaster. It's not time Right. Alright, pudge is revealed. I thought I dodged that. Small fry. Hope this asshole doesn't run up and leak me. I know he will though. Good calls always give you the leaking. We should try to maybe get one of the tier one mid or top. This way. I'm actually really under fun this game. What the hell is happening? We can still lose even though it's a four v five. Nice one. They can see me when I'm here, by the way. They have like a lane ward or something. Mm. Good. Am I pretty upset? Mm, not really. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh god, I don't want to hear them say Barney or Stark Farm Zero items and stuff. This way. Because like, how does that help like win the game at all? Or have any pot? Yo, run up to the uh, the pudge. He's on the hill. Run at the pudge. Run at the pudge. Run at the pudge. Yeah. Run at the pudge team. 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 We had a plan. Team. We had a plan. 
Repel me, repel me, repel me, repel me! Oh my god, these guys are actually... Do you level stats? What the fuck is going on here? Dude, you, like... I'm looking at his, his hero, I'm not gonna flame him for it, but I'm looking at his hero and he, he does two points not leveled, and he leveled after the first kill. Well, okay, the kills happened there, but it's fine. It's fine, you did, you did fine. You actually didn't make a mistake there. He, I, he, the kills happened after I died. But either way, this is like a frustrating game, but I'm sure that we're fine. Sark is moron. Medusa 1v1. Dude, how does saying shit like that help at all? Both you and the other guy have said shit like that. It just has no positive impact on the game. Like, even if it were true, it, it wouldn't matter. You know what I'm saying? The fuck is the point of even saying it? Just go run at the top tier 1 tower. Get building. <laughs> oh my god. Your top tower is under attack. Over here. Over here. Go on. Right. Illusion. This just reaffirms how much I, I never want to hear this shit. Like, <laughs> like what it would, like that's the least Don't Like what the fuck? As, they can see me when I'm here. This this is never worth saying. I'll use the D word, please, and then ping it or something. The very weak coddle can actually hold this almost indefinitely. Shut up! I'll give him the affirmative. So sorry. <laughs> Yo, we have to push fast because carry noob. We have to get these towers. There, see, we'll give him the push now, because carry noob. Ja ja, no item. 15 minute carry noob mid. Noob to carry no item mid. Your middle tower is under attack. Noob carry seems like one of the things that you would hear an undying say. Good. Your middle tower is under attack. In the affirmative. No, 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 we need detection. They can see me when I'm here. Nice one. They have vision, so he's just gonna try to hook and shit from the low ground. These guys don't even I don't know how useful saying things in the mic is in this game for these people. I kind of want to wait for the um, the stone gaze and the GA because I've seen... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Good stuff, guys. have been fighting since the start, but it's okay, fucking carry noob, and you win this game. I thought that was the Beastmaster Hawk for a second. I was like, shit, I'm spotted, and then I realized it was a cosmetic. The number of times I used to confuse cosmetics for Beastmaster Hawks and Beastmaster used to be a more played hero. Yeah. Sorry. Did you get that? I think you got it anyways, it's okay. I just wanted to make sure that it would respawn. It was gonna respawn anyways, I'm just saying that's basically that. Because the freeze, if he froze at like 52. See, it was all tactical. Boy, fresh 
You should help him. What the fuck? You died? OMG! <laughs> How does that even happen? You died on a hero? Oh, Carrie knew. An animal. Carrie's 1K! Damn. <laughs> That's really low. 1K MMR? One of the, what's one of the lowest MMRs I've ever heard? And it's our carry, that's a high importance roll. Hit him! Oh, what a GA. Oh, and that, that another carry new pounce, but that, that fucking Sam ultimate. Carry! <laughs> like, what? That's as useless as listening to the enemy team complaining about one another. Carry MMR 2K equal. One? The numbers even get that low? <laughs> I, I, I can't tell if this guy's serious or not. On US West, you have, you know, US people, you have Chinese people, and you have Peruvians. And the Peruvians, they use a special C sometimes that I saw this game, but. I don't even care. I just want to win the game. I don't give a fuck where he's from. There he is. <laughs> that CS noob carry. Don't need Yasha, need Yules. Easy. Carry 1k. Go, go, go! Oh, a good hook. That pounce actually would have hit them. For once. <laughs> 1k. 1k pounces. Careful. We're being split pushed by the SF, who's not awful. Oh, uh, we've gone back with lots of heroes. They're gonna run at us because we TP back, just back off. All part of the plan. On most carry heroes, the torment shield is actually better for farming than a wand, but on Sark, strength and intelligence actually contribute a lot to farming speed, which is why drum is actually not an awful item on this hero. Oh, the shot if you got a kill. Fucking noob carry, probably. There's a gem on the ground. Sark Night Vision really useful. Careful, there's a Beastmaster top. They're gonna dive you. Safe way. They might dive me if I go top. Okay, that's very reassuring. They can see me when I'm here. They can see me. It's actually so dangerous to be where I am. Use What? I don't want to hear any of this. Oh, it drives me insane. Oh. It's okay, I didn't break my smoke. We can go. That was a really tough pounce to get, actually. We can push now. They only have three heroes alive because it's a 4v5. Yeah. 
That will translate to any language, so that's always useful. I, I'm almost certain that my mic shit is not, like, useful at all, saying anything. But I will say it anyways. I think that, um, one player on the team can hear and understand what I'm saying. Everyone can understand English typing on this team, too, so that's useful. Over here. Good. Well, to be fair, the undying raped the or I should Alright, the Undying raped the offlane so hard that the what's his face actually DC'd from the game. The Morphling Rage Quit. Oh no, my clone bike cooled down. I can't stand that. Songs and Yasha. Yeah. Right through here. Shadow Fiend just shadow bladed. Over here. In a run. They could see me briefly for half a second there as I walked by something. Our ward vision is really weird right now, but at least we can spot enemies in the position that they are in the map pretty easily. More like it. I like the anime one too, but anime requested it be removed while he was Twitch banned or whatever. Is under attack. Structures are fortified. They have a ward right there, by the way. You have a gem, you didn't auto attack it, you fucking mongoloid. Careful. I mean, um. Carry fucking 1k new cha cha. Right. Disgusting. Mm. 1k more player on my team. He's on the carry roll too. How is that even allowed? Invisibility. Nice one. My ult is down, but we can fight them. Hitting the creeps. Okay. Psst, this way. Yeah, anime won't be banned for more than like. like I'm pretty sure anime is not Twitch banned anymore. Or magic right stuff. That's right. I'm pretty sure that if you get Twitch fan for the first time, it's almost always for like a day, and then that's it. Don't get caught. Unfortunately, the Barney Fivefold thing was never like right. people pick Enigma a lot on like Euro West, but they don't really pick it that much on any of the servers I play on. And then the Anime yeah. Panda one was like never version appropriate. And then what was the other one? The, none of the emotes that got removed were ever really used that much. The amazing original gold coin Jew gold emote things are those ones have always been used. I sure do like seeing the gold coins spammed every single time I am given Twitch gold. I didn't, uh, by the way, there were a bunch of donation me messages that I uh, forgot to. We should fight them first here. 
since they have a hawk, they could see that we're doing that. Sponsors. I forgot to read a bunch of the donation messages yesterday. I'll read them today, and then I'll thank all my my Bugatti betting sponsors. Oh yeah, the USA Meepo. I don't. I haven't played Meepo in a long time. That's more about the heroes. I'm thinking about replacing that one with some other um, like jingoistic American themed emote, but I don't know what it would be. The thing that bothered me about that one wasn't uh, like the Meep or the America part, definitely. You know. Euro dog tears here. It was definitely the um the fact that I haven't played Meepo in some time. Many versions. I still play Meepo every now and then, but it's not a hero that I first pick anymore. I don't think Meepo is a good first pick here on this version. I won't win games if I first pick that hero. They can see. Over here. Yeah. This way. I said gonna split push top. We should kill him. That's right. Just wanna kill that tree there. Now you're done. After him! You need another hero there to help you to kill us up. Oh never mind, he backed off maybe. No, he's still there. They need like a Dusa. Good. You need like a Dusa or something. Oh, he's speed away. It's okay. Careful, Medusa. Yeah. Did your loan? Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, she's gonna feed her some shit. Oh, Pudge is running at her. Beastmaster's running at her. Oh, there's a Coddle here. Is he free? No. They can see me here. Right. Right. Wish that was an ops from Con on that I have Aegis if you just want to push. SF is not here, we can just push mid. Again, chat will translate to every language. I don't give a fuck what this guy's ping is, that is not any that isn't useful at all for me to know, I guess. This guy's very vocal though about like our one camera carries. If it was like, hey, I have a thousand ping, pause the game so that we can win, I'd be like, okay. It's like, okay, you have a thousand ping going to the fight, good to know. Press your guardian V button. And drop your tomb. We can fight, we can fight, help, 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 help. Team? I Vegas? What are you doing? Yo, run, help me, help me, help me. What the fuck is this guy's issue? 1k carry! GG! 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 I love B. No! I fucking hate this guy. Jesus Christ. Now we're trying to rebuy the QB. Uh oh, Medusa? Medusa? Oh, she's owning. Wow. Oh no, she's, she's gonna stop owning immediately now. Don't worry, I'll help you, Medusa. Let me go. Yes, yeah, take my aura and run. Ah, take take the heal, the mana too. When the game goes 40, we're gonna win. Our 4v5. Guys, kill the SF, he's their only carry. In the 4v5 game. Just ping me, give me your power. Yeah. Let's push their buildings, team. Only their keeper of the light is alive. Right I'm 
Fearless. Let's hit the building team. Let's get that tier three. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Hit it. They severely lack heroes. I fear nothing. The enemy's middle barracks. Get out of there, team. They're all back. I will wait with my team. The enemy's middle barracks has fallen. Good. We did it, guys. Incredible. Yeah, if this wasn't a 4v5, we would have been in trouble. Mistakes were made all around. It's a good thing their Morphling is a rage quitting Mongol. It, I don't usually report people that are on like my team first, you know, retard shit, but this guy actually just like left the game. What do you report that for? Communication, ability, or feeding? I don't know. He just like left the game and fucking ruined it for everyone. What a dick. I won't mark anyone on my team, but my goodness, I would hate to get this guy on my team because he ruined the game for the enemy team. Epic. It's like the Pudge from the other day that uh, ruined the game for his team. Some pretty miserable shit for them, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll go dive the well, that'll, that'll show him. Oh, epic. I will watch and mourn for their loss. That's right. Let's get those mega creeps team or kill the throne. We did it. Great game. Give them the GG. Yeah, the clock might not only works in a rush. It's taking me a while to get used to that one. Well, that was a free win. Good stuff. Fucking retards and their dual core strats. You know, it's unfortunate for the enemy team that the person who rage quit was also one of their core heroes, because if it wasn't a core hero, then they would have maybe had a chance going late. I didn't think I was going to play more than one today, but maybe I will. It's actually 1k lower than you. I mean, actually, I think that game I had allies that probably played better than me, despite being 1k and more lower than me. I think that the Undying was wrong, though, in his prediction that the carries would be 1k MMR or 2k MMR. He was, a, he was a little bit off, as it seemed as though everyone in the game was around 5k MMR or so, or a high 4k. I wonder if there is a 1k MMR bracket for US West. I wonder how that would differ from other 1k MMR brackets, like 1k US East or like 1k China. I hate everyone playing Dota. 
I stopped reading the donation messages during stream and stuff, but I actually forgot to read them at the end yesterday. There was a... One of them had a, a pretty solid question, too. Uh, I, I missed one of the comments from Ariana Grande is my wife. I didn't save it, but there's another one that said, how do you deal with losing streaks? I lost seven games today. I'm not sure what the best way to handle it is. Uh, the best way to handle team morale being positive, calling them animals they are. By the way, I love the donkey. Uh, I think calling your team the animals they are is actually never helpful, ever. But losing a bunch of games in a row is always shitty. Uh, these days, I, if I'm losing like a bunch of games in a row, I'll probably just I just like take a break and like go for a walk or something. Or I just go outside. Well, you know, outside sucks though. You know, sun burns my pale pale skin. The the air scorches my lungs. It's, it's a terrible place. Nice. I have at rape and lamper cat on my team. Is that the real lamper cat though? No, I don't think it is. Is it? I don't know who this is, but the at rape guy is really good, despite the fact that his name will trigger, trigger people. His name says he's 9.6k guys, we better watch out. I've never seen somebody with that much MMR. Seconds remaining. Oh, that must be the real Lamper Cat. Nobody else does the offline Enchantress like Lamper Cat Five does. We'll see if it's remaining. really him, though. If he feeds like a bitch, there's no way it could be Lamper Cat. Lamper Cat only wins with his offline Enchantress and gets lots of items. Spam left click intensifies. Your turn to pick. Oh yeah, then there's another question. This was a really, really good one. It was from Donation Man Five Nine. I remember when this donation came up, I, I fucked up in the game because uh, Donation Man has always used a name with like a barcode at the end. Donation Man Five Nine Two One Eight Two Seven Three Seven Five Nine Two. Did you learn all of your farming techniques on your own or for someone else, or and did you pioneer Refresher Gyro? Is that some clan or act shit? I think I definitely helped to popularize the Refresher Gyro, and I, I like I would honestly say that that I'm gonna claim that shit. I'll just be real. It's not as good as it was at all anymore, and it's probably not even a thing. But when I did it, I remember someone looked up on Dota Buff, and if you look at, up any item on Dota Buff, it's usually done at least like a thousand times. But it only be it had only been done like three hundred and forty times or something like that. I don't know. But I I had done that shit like at least ten times before that. I was like a percentage of the refresher gyros. I don't know. I liked the refresher gyro though when it was good, but I doubt it's good anymore. But it's for my farming techniques, some of them I guess. But when I wanted to learn how to farm in MOBA games, I did it by playing. Um, Heroes of New Earth and watching Angry Testy and Chu and first person replays. And then when I came back to Dota 2, I actually watched a lot of the pub players that I thought were good on US servers, along with a couple of other people that I had on my friends list that are Euros that are really good. That uh, That's how I learned to farm again or whatever. But those were all from yesterday. Thank you. Ah, thank you for your Twitch followers. Appreciate it. I know it's not 9.6k anymore. Who is that though? Oh, no tail? No tail or bone? I don't know. <laughs> Indeed, in battle. But uh, thank you for staying subscribed for three months, Russian Snowball. Wait, what's going on here? What are you guys playing? Something about right. Please don't go Enchantress. What? Enchantress is good. Nightcrawler. Purple, aren't you like a 6k Ember middle lane hero player? Prepare for battle. This one nope. is in the bag. Oh, the fuses are in there. Alright. I could swear this guy was like a 6k ember or something player. It's an 
no tell. Got one. Nice. Do you want some fun? Careful. It is in the bag. It's probably the fine. The last time I heard it's someone fine. say that, they just pressed R and the important enemy hero, and we won. Right. Thirty seconds to battle. The hero does play itself. Nice one. Who was the high MR player on our team? Was it Rape or Lamp or Cat? For sure, Lamp or Cat is more MR than me. That's right. Or he's very close. Ah, uh, that's an Undying Gyro. Just let him get it. You sure? The battle begins. I'll take that. Good. Nice. We got first blood and the bounty. You guys own. This hero hits a lot. Indeed. A gyro ran into you guys got yeah, fucked. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 you show him. <laughs> right. Oh, is this some sort of try line? Pecky's mid. Standard game. Pecky's mid. Oh. Lamper child almost fed. Okay. Now you're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. Swimming attack commands to pull the creep back. A 1v1 this fucking nerd creep. The enemy heroes are still really strong. Any kind of it's been a long time actually since I've been at Tri versus Tri lane. And a lot of the games are nice. Techies commit suicide, no one's dead. But um in Tri v Tri lanes, which usually I've played these in either more organized games or the god awful like open in house league tri lanes which are like pure suffering. But the in the more organized game tri lanes very important. Well, in any tri lane versus tri lane situation, it's very important you get an early stick. Because there are a lot of heroes, uh, or a lot of spells end up getting cast in the lane that has six of the ten heroes in the game. That makes a lot of sense, I'm sure. Six of the ten heroes in the game are in one lane, a lot of spells going off. Magic stick, very good. I think this is support gyro and more like it. Okay. This Pull the creeps back in. I'm actually getting a lot of farm out of this lane, in spite of being like, what was a try lane? Nice one. Still is a try lane, apparently. I'm getting a lot of farm out of this lane for it being a undying gyro try lane. Right. I'm gonna spam attack command on the enemy hero to pull the creep back. Alright. <laughs> That's 
Damn. Actually, could have gotten a top one, maybe. This uh, guy on the left, he can go on there now. Hmm. I got this one. I'm on the way. We're not on one target here. We can go on him again, maybe? No, he bottled up. There's no escape. I somehow suspect that there's. Did you get again? Do you know slow down that shit? It's probably up again. So there's one thing I learned about techies is that I shouldn't assume the suicide is on cooldown. I made that mistake before. Your middle tower is under attack. Right, yeah. On your hill or his? Right. That's a good question. Your middle tower is under attack. Good. We got it. Right. I'm worried I might run out of regen before 6 here if we take another engagement. Each commander went um, off lane bottle, which is very effective. General. I'll be able to kill that one on him, man. There's no escape. Now that's payback. How close did six spark? Uh, 600 EXP. Fucking too far. Yeah, try one. Right. Okay, uh, where I'm, I'm out, I'm out leveling them at least, so we're, we're, I think we're in decent shape. How's top lane going? I assume any mage is farming and you're farming? Very good. Okay, good. Yeah. Nice, looks like any mage is actually losing that one. No, no, go on this guy, help! This is where the stick really comes into play. We need to just hit one target, team. This is not good execution at all. We can't find under the tombstone for too long. We just have to kill one and. Oh, it's okay. Let's go build this one. Nothing wrong with the skill build. What is this? I assume mid techies is actually just doing really well. Oh, Necro's level 8, that's good. Nice, Necro's level 8. I almost have my ult. That's my subtle hint at the Necro to get the fuck out of my experience. Yeah. That's right. Oh, this guy's a good player, though. Suicide right in front of me. What's the timer on that? Two minutes? Yeah. Dire structures are fortified. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I still need 200 experience for 6, actually. As long as I'm out leveling there, like driving on dying, we're okay. Oh, that guy's le that's a level seven uh, legion. We should just have necro plus one bottom. More like it. This sucks after we rotate through the jungle, not level six. That's because the legion commander got experience for three fucking kills, and that was the hero that had to be out leveling basically. But that hero got experience for three kills, which is not the fucking very strong. Team, can we help bottom? This is why I said we need uh, necro plus one bot. Not just Necro. Right here. Duel doesn't have very long cooldown, so it's not like it's even worth timing Duel. It's I just packed. a death. Your bottom tower is under attack. Oh, yeah, I might even get the stack off on that. It's not time yet. Use your... 
Look, okay. Uh, we either have to abandon the bottom lane or we need like an additional hero. I think that we should just abandon and do things elsewhere. But you have to watch out for the techies lane. Just kind of, I kind of agree with the necro here. We're not really. Yo, we need. Uh, we just we just TP necro bottom. We need heroes to come. We need heroes. One of the supports are, are our core. Enchantress or support. Enchantress or support. This is kind of pathetic, actually. Does no one want to kill? Nice, good shit. No, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. As long as we get the kill, that's all that matters. Good rotation. See, even Animus is more than me. Because the tri lane is always really bad if it's not too organized. But the tri lane actually was going really well and I was getting a lot of farm. But then we had the three deaths. And three deaths usually uh, is enough to kind of lose the lane. Three deaths in a row. Like three for one trade, I guess, not nine plus one. At least I'm level seven, though, which means I can kind of farm. Level seven plus farm white is really all you need to farm on this one. Nice. Oh my god, is this Dr. Lee with these armor toggles? What's going on here? I can't wait to see the Reddit post about this video. Wow, so good. I feel like our individual players, like I know Lamper Cat and the Necro are really good, and I think my support players are actually playing solid, but some of our organization teams are rough. I mean, when he attacks once every two seconds, it's pretty easy. That was not to use the mic, the bottle. Uh, I don't know about this, he'll just duel me and then I'll die. They have lots of spells. Just back off. I'm just gonna stay calm. I'm not going at that, that's like four heroes. Fuck that. This teamwork. Can you TP bottom if we do fight though? Have a TP, please carry a TP, you fucking animal, please. You're a retard if you don't carry a TP, there's four heroes bottom. Please buy TV, buy TV, buy TV. Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind. Yo, we can kill the Shire. Look at this. He's like, he's so low. We're, there's all their team there. I don't know if we want to fight this, honestly. I think we just let him, we just let him get that now. That's, uh, fight, I guess. Just back off. That's all we're going to get. That's all we're going to get. Just fight on it. No, no, there's a Gyro that's trapped. That's okay, the Enchantress couldn't TP. His thing was... Damn, I turned for that too. How much damage is that? Oh, okay. 1,150. Enchantress is owning though. We're in really good shape. Their support heroes aren't that strong, and our Enchantress is level 11. Also, their Animage is only like level 8. Their LC has a lot of items though, despite the fact he's only level 9, so just be careful for that. He has Blade Mail. The only thing on their team that can actually kill Amphrakat is their... Um, Their supports and their supports are really low level. No, no, she has blade bell. Face blade bell. Yeah. Might be able to get a tier one, but we need a sentry. The techies was top and he's been around mid, so. Right. No, I'm not walking up that ramp with that sentry. I'm not walking up that ramp with that sentry. They can see me here. Don't get caught. How many? How, does he have mines around bottom? His suicide's down. Uh, I 
Okay. Am I safe to push this tower? Am I safe to push this tower? Structures are fortified. This thing is down. Oh, he has the other mines too. Mm. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. Oh no. Oh, he's getting bought by creeps. Oh, Epic. <laughs> Your middle tower oh, is under attack. Nice. Now my ship is nice and sharp. Dude, there's no point in bickering amongst one another. This game will probably go late because they have a techies, but I think we're actually fine. Bitching at the SS, please. Captain. I like the fact that our supports are communicative at least. When we have a Midas, we're playing against the techies. That's like, right. We're in good shape. I always, I don't know, the suicide cooldown is really low when it's max. 100 seconds, More Jesus like Christ. It. Good. Techie see you, man. Good old, good old. Now you're talking. Uh, are we fighting here? I might be able to kill the gyro. I might be able to kill gyro. He doesn't see me. Uh, I'm going. Nice, good pick. Dude, there's no point in playing one another at all. Like, this is guaranteed to be a game that goes late, so morale is like literally more important than anything. Don't get cool. he's so bad. I think he's playing fine, dude. He's oh, communicative too. Oh, the plan. Dying is only level seven. That's good. They're on dying is only level seven. That's really good. You sure? Probably. Probably. I don't know where Taiki. Oh, he's he's been top at least recently. He's doing a lot of pushing. Your top tower is under attack. I want to walk through this jungle. Go Can we help them? I'm running. I'm running towards. Yeah. I'm running towards it. They don't see me. I mean, you might walk into the LC here. I need help. Good. They can see me when I'm here. They can see me when I'm here. Good kill. I think I'm. Oh, never mind. There's a legion behind you. He's playing. That's right. There's a good save attempt, though. This guy's a blink dagger. I didn't know. Yeah, he just got it just then. Why? Who are you gonna buy? Oh, he's buying his item. I get it. Tack pause, tack pause. I feel like I tack pause on me before. Is this a kill? I don't think it is. We need the enchantress damage. I'm just sitting around doing nothing here. I should be farming a neutral camp. Right. Can you run creeps through it or something? 
Oh yeah, yeah, get a point in your thing and run a creep through it or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I have a haste, I don't know if I can get a kill with it though. Haste. They can see me, they can see me here. I'm gonna farm the camp even though I know they can see me. They can see me as I farm this. Why did he do that? I don't what do you do? What do you do? He just killed himself? He just suicided. Oh, I've been, I've been LC'd upon. Damn. It hits really hard. I knew they could see me there, but. Your bottom tower is under attack. Mm. So, anyways, just gonna have a lot of space to go. Yeah, I know I do that either. He's owning them. He's like level 13. Even if it looks like he's uh, thir like 3 and 9, he's like high level. What the hell? The enemy team is winning by like a large margin this game. Help Enchantress team. I'm not getting much to their cover gold though. Because we're not... I think our team is behind on gold. I guarantee that we're behind on experience, but... The scoreboard is deceptive this game, to say the least. Like, with my items too, I don't even farm quickly. Over here. Are you on this? I'm not sure where they are either. Query is so useless game. Your middle tower is under attack. That's spooky though, because it shows the Leaf Commander is smart. She's occupying space in our jungle while her anime farm starts. Mid. Careful. Nice. Now you're done. Right. Techies is tough. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm not hitting those. Your top tower is under attack. Did they drop wards? I don't want to. Your top tower is under attack. You probably should. They're pushing our top. We need to actually get this. Thank you. Can we just base race? Uh, no, we can't. Nice. Oh. Dire structures are fortified. This way. Good. Just drop boards. No, no, that's okay. This is fine. Just back off now. Just back off. The enemy's middle tower. If we if get here, we can fight. I don't know. Yeah, we we can still fight around wards, but I think that. Right through here. Oh, that's a good hammer. Enchant one? I don't know. Careful. 
apple. Kiss. People mention a bunch of different names. There's a weaker commander right here, maybe. I think there's no goal yet for like 20 seconds. That's right. Are their mines top because the techies was around there? Yes. This is actually a spooky game. I just have to accept that there's some deaths I won't be able to prevent. There, you have to always think about what things can kill you, and here it's like Techies Mines, Legion Commander Duel, there's so many things that can kill me. Come on. Can I over here? Yeah. Good. Oh, he's really close to his axe. That's good. I'm on the way, there's no Legion Commander there. Can anyone else come? He's middle. Yeah. It's just the techies bottom, like. Nice one. Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? Yeah. We bring some they can see me when I'm here. They can see me when I'm here. Mines. They can see me. I think I just ran over mines and he didn't blow them up. They could see me when I was here. I think that I ran over mines, but he did not blow them up because okay. I have 1700 HP and 12 armor. That's right. Money for him yeah, it's probably fine. Just uh, watch out around here. I'm gonna sack the ancients. Double damage. You sure? Three. Oh, one. One. Okay. Well. The enemy team has a lot of space to do that. This might expire top. This mine's there definitely. And you walk right into where they should be. Why does he do that? I think he's just a heal mana. He just thinks of it as a free mana heal. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh. Right. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your oh, bottom oh. tower is fortified. Nice, I got a lot out of that. Can we come again? Wait, is this? Wait, 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 wait. Who is this? Is this Bone Seven? Uh, no. Bone Seven is a uh, Legion Commander. Oh, he's owning. They're both. They're both actually yesterday. doing pretty well, though. He's actually so dumb. That was not a good death, though. I must say. Can we get some wards? Yeah. That fucking purple, please. 
Yeah, Techie has like a ton of suicides. When he was 3 and 9, he had like highest level. Not a good death though. That's all they had. Wow. I can't fight AM at all though. I can buy him. At least I'm level 18 from that last fight. I got so much out of that, it was ridiculous. This guy is still a monster if he fucked me hard. Even with 2200 HP. Yeah, this is the most I've ever delayed a Shadow Blade for Silver Edge build, but... Yeah, it is really hard to occupy space on this map, but... Sark is one of the hardest to kill heroes there is, so. Right. Now you're done. Uh, we have to catch him with the hex. Yeah. Yeah, just be careful on the ramps outside of the racks because those are like here and there. A lot of times techies will ward that. I was gonna comment on how there's a mile. Dude. I hate this guy actually. I know he's a good player, but I fucking hate him. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing we can do about it. This purple guy is so fucking annoying, it's actually unbelievable. I recognize him as like an okay player, but he's really annoying. Right. We still got this, we just have to take good fights. That's my favorite move. Radiance Courier has been killed. Okay, I don't need to go. Oh, that's a soul boost here. What the fuck? Right. Go on. There are only two here. What? Dude, just chill the fuck out. Please. Rape. Stop. Don't be a fucking baby. We can nice easily win this game, dude. What's what the hell is wrong with you? I told you this would be a long game. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah. You didn't intentionally feed the courier, dude. Chill the fuck out. Like this is an easily winnable game. It's just gonna be a, a fucking painful one because it's a techies game. Dude, I feed couriers all the time. That's not. I didn't do that. I don't think he did it either. Or someone did. He did it intentionally. No, dude, this guy's intentionally throwing games, I swear. This is uh, the Lamper Cat. He, has, he even has a Twitter. Seriously, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that. His. <laughs> Team, 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 we can kill, we can kill, we can kill. Sorry, good hero, sorry, good hero, get him. Good shit, dude. Look at that, I guess you could say that we raped him. Good. Is he really AFK? What a fucking baby, Jesus Christ, fucking animal. Get out of the courier, you dog. Dude, can you not like go sit in the well? Like, just do shit on the map. I realize that we don't have much vision and that you're gonna inevitably die. 
But just fucking do it anyways. Just win me the game. Give me my points. It's just stupid. Nice one. Like that well, lane is actually just close. Didn't feed the courier. The courier will be back eventually. That lane will I'll always die right I here. apologize this enchantress is a dog, but I'm gonna see if I can kill the AM. So I could hear. That would have been a tough kill to get, but there may have been a way to get it. Yeah. The fucking bag bombs on that ramp. Fucking we can actually take fights if we can smoke and take a fight around, or that isn't around mines, rather. Like, all we have to do is kill the AM in the fight, or the Legion Commander. If we kill one of the two, we win the fight. Yeah, this ramp is always going to have a bunch of mines. So I'm see if I can get the techies from behind. TP back. Wait, is this clear? Oh, okay. Careful. I'm gonna go like this. Go on. More like it. Have the open qualifier started? Right through here. Oh, how I wish I had this back in Dark Reef. All part of the plan. Careful. Don't fight when my ult is down. Good. Psst. This way. I fucking kill yourself. Oh my god, please. All part of the plan. It's not time yet. Right through here. Careful, I'm not near you guys. Don't take a fight there. Yeah. Give it in. Roshan has fallen to the dire. Kill Am in the fights. He probably has cheese, so we have to get him with the scythe. <clears throat> Can we run with the techies? I'm gonna run with the techies right now. To go back to the base right now. Yo, we need you back in the base, purple, right now, right now. Come, we're down on Enchantress. Kill the supports. Hard. Fucking off yourself. Yeah, whatever, Lamal. It's okay, we can still win. It's just one it's just one Rex. We can actually still win. Hey, whatever, you fucking chink dog. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> it's really chink animal, it's okay. 
we eat. It's okay. If we win the game, I'll eat my dog, but we just have to win. Uh, I started the day putting my cat down, not even kidding, but we can win the 25 points, and then you can eat your dog in celebration, but just don't give up. We can win. I'm level 25. I have my butterfly. I can flutter at him. We got this shit, dude. Agility monster. Come on. Yeah, this can't fail. Let's do it. No, this is not a good idea anymore. Okay. Can we just push? Can we push? Can we push? I bet he doesn't have mines on at the tier 3. I bet he doesn't expect us to win. I knew today was going to be a fucking great day. I'm, I'm happy that my player that I had expectations of is a fucking animal. You know your 370 followers? Dude, uh, kill yourself, please. Just win the game. Oh, help, help, help! Alright, we've lost the game. It's okay. You did your best, purple. Consider thyself. I definitely got a little tilted here because my fucking retard won't shut the fuck up. on the animage dude he has no th if you kill him he's dead for like a very long time dude don't you have like a blink what the fuck use your ability on one of the two heroes that dies to your move what is this am i being Evan trolled here simply epic right great stuff dude Seriously, dude, like, how can- what is your fucking issue, Necrolite player? You were 6k in the version where being an awful player but playing the middle lane role let you win the game. I guess I see why you're not 6k anymore, fucking animal. What is your issue? Jesus Christ, you complained from the start and you didn't even play your hero well and you built a fucking Midas. You're dog shit, dude. And your name is at rape. Like, what the fuck is actually wrong with you? Oh, whatever, dude. This was, he was 6k when Ember was good. It's whatever. Epic stuff, dude. Fucking retard. Good shit. Good shit. when he's so toxic wow. like i didn't say anything mean to that guy until the way end of the game i mean he sat there bming our support players the whole time our support players played fine that guy was a fucking idiot 
Uh, I know he's some retard Korean, and uh, I don't even know. Like, I have nothing against Korean players, and generally speaking, Korean and Chinese, Chinese players are pretty tolerable. This guy's actually just an idiot. Like, he, he tacked pauses. He's tacked paused on me before. I've played a game when I streamed when I was, like, on the, on the way back up where this guy, like, would tack pause to, like, BM or, like, to buy items or tell his team what to do. And he even did it that game when he was going to feed, like, an animal and buy his four staff after Midas because he didn't know what he wanted to buy after his Midas. He didn't have anything on his quick buy, obviously, so he had to tack pause. But it's annoying because he sabotages team morale the whole time and then goes AFK in the well when the courier dies. Like, what a fucking baby. Just play the game. Like, I get it. We're going to probably lose the game because it's, like, a, a game that's going to be one of those hard games for many different reasons. But sitting there and BMing the support player, even if you don't agree with what they're doing, or even if you have some valid points, it's, like, not helpful at all. It's just fucking annoying. Of course I'm going to be upset. Like, I want to win the game, and, and some retard is just going to sit there BMing people, going AFK in the well, and then and then crying the whole game. And it's like, dear lord, just... just Press R on a hero, that's all you have to do, and then you can go AFK in the wall. And then he purposely didn't press R on a hero to be, like, funny, which is... That's, like, the kind of shit that the people that snipe into your games do. Except that guy's not a person who snipes into a game, he's just someone that used to play, like, good mid-heroes in versions of the game where just being a good mid-player was really good. And people like Purple Deserve the Flame, he tries to bring down the entire game and then just pretends he's immune to all. I don't know, I'm sure he's aware that he's a fucking idiot, but... The excellent part about that is that if I ever get that guy in my game again, there are obviously going to be issues, and then if he's on the other team, then he's going to, like, you know, do his best to win, so it's going to be, like, one of the whole, like... It's going to be like the situation that you get when you get like one of those people that, who is like a stream sniper, except he's not a stream sniper, he's actually like a normal US West player. But he's not bad, it's just that his attitude is fucking awful. And he sits there and he does that all game. Like the number of times I see that guy, he's, he's muted all the time, and the number of times I see him spam the GG in the all chat when anything bad happens is ridiculous. Like a player like that can't win a game with the techies on the other team. Because when there's a the techies on any team, the game is going to be like a long game probably if the techies is good. And that game even dragged a pretty long time. And we actually had a chance to win. But that guy just wanted to be a fucking actual retard and, and ruin the game. Pretty good stuff. Like, if that guy were on the other team, I would report him because he ran down a lane and fed after going AFK. But if he's on my team, I'll just mute him to mark him as the retard that ruined the game. No, that's party MMR that the two good players on the other team had, so it doesn't even matter. Who were in the game at rape, yeah. I'm not gonna say the other guy, because I haven't had him ruin one of my games in a while. But there's another guy, okay, I'll just say it, like Kong, and that guy is like the same, where he's an Like I generally like the Chinese players, but as Lampercat said, I don't need something like Kong and Rape to make me hate all of the infamous XXX players, but they certainly reinforce it and they really do, because they're it's like players that just play like the infamous Eastern hero middle lane role, and then they have pretty toxic attitudes and it's just really annoying like i don't i don't give a fuck where you're from if you're like pausing the game to you know bm someone or buy your item or you're just constantly pinging like a support player and then or doing the we need wards one when you die it's just like really really annoying that's the kind of shit that makes me just want to mute everyone at the start of the game just so i can focus on the game because it's hard to focus like that's what drives me insane how do i focus on winning when i get someone who just doesn't want to like win the fucking game it, it just uh who would have thought that at rape would be a game loser? Yeah, I know. I, I guess with a name like at rape.
Really? All those words are censored on Twitch? Jeez. But they don't censor the other racial slurs? Interesting. Well, I guess... Hmm. Well, I guess those are all sensible words to censor, though. Okay, I haven't used any censored words today, guys, so I'm in the clear. to go pro no there's no way like uh i lost all my opportunities at the end of like 2013 it's been a long time since i've had uh like any kind of like stand-in thing but i wouldn't really my wrists are too fucked up anyways i just want to gain the rank matchmaking points for now though i really really want to win rank matchmaking games for now i have no interest in like playing in like the ti open qualifiers have already started too so there's like literally nothing in in Dota until after the international for like a long time. And then who even knows because the international is like the biggest event anyways. Usually after the international there's like not a whole lot of hype. But I intend to play lots of ranked matchmaking and then maybe I will play things like in-house leagues eventually when I'm done with ranked matchmaking. But for now I have no interest in playing in like C9DL or whatever the fuck for NEL. I played a little bit of the uh, the FPL or whatever with Blitz and someone else, and then played a little bit of that off stream. But that was pretty funny. I just remember the I just remember Masta and uh, Masta and Nyx creeping the shit out of Milk. That was actually oh my god, that was so awkward to be in the in the same voice chat with Milk and Blitz after I was like, yeah, I recognize these guys. And, like, I said something good about Masta and Nyx, you know, like, the D2G people, that they creep the shit out of, like, in a very awkward way, they creep the shit out of, like, uh, out of Milk by saying things about his girlfriend. It was like, oh, God, I feel, I feel bad just thinking about it. I have low expectations for today, but I hope to get lots of points. I'll say that. My attitude is inevitably going to be pretty shit today, though. Oh, it was Pink who said it. No, I might have stream. I might not stream all my solo queue games. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Milk got so tough after being molested. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's probably it probably gets old to watch the same hero over and over, but that's how you play rank matchmaking. That's how everyone plays rank matchmaking. It's whatever. I don't really remember him. We'll give him the S though. Like yeah, yeah, yeah I remember you. Jeez, Lampercat is upset about losing his points that game. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty upset about losing the points that game too, but I don't think that it's... I mean, I definitely said some mean things too, Lampercat, but I don't know if I would say all the banned Twitch words at that game, but I was definitely mad that some retard lost me the game because that would have otherwise been a winnable game and that would have been cool, but hey. Yeah, Sark is a lot like Storm Spirit. He's like the Storm Spirit of the safe lane in some ways. The donations get read out loud as they come. Uh, I try to read them, like, between the games, but sometimes I'll read them out loud as they come. I'll be honest, I don't um, have a... My system for encouraging donations is not that good, so... I don't get showered with the Twitch dollars, but I appreciate the Twitch dollars nonetheless. Oh, yeah. I don't know who this guy is. Fine. Do you prefer being the top MR team, or do you like seeing there's at least one person higher on your team? I mean, on US West, the average MR is pretty low, so it's inevitable. Once you get, like, above low 5K, that you're going to be the top MR of the team. I don't... Um, I always first pick my hero anyway, so I always get the role that I like. If, if I picked later, it would be nicer, because of... 
Like, your team will let you pick the hero you want to play, usually, if you have the badge. But since I pick early, it just incentivizes the enemy team to pick things that are good against me, usually. However, I don't really care that much. I know Blitz mentioned how miserable it was. Like, Blitz actually said he stopped playing ranked matchmaking when the badge thing came out. Because he would pick... He ground his MMR during the same time that Devilish did on US West. And it was like... If they had the badge, it would have changed the way that it worked. Like... And then as soon as the badge came out, actually Blitz continued gaining MMR after they put the badge thing out, but at the same time, he said that it made people run at his lane a lot more. But as a safe lane player, there's usually enemies that run at your lane anyways. But as a mid player, it's kind of unusual that all of the support players just run at you and rotate onto you. But it was so funny listening to Blitz talk about when he would pick um, Storm Spirit, and then it said that his MMR was 7k and the average MMR of the game was like 4900 listening to him say how like all the supports how his lane was just like the middle like mid wars game and stuff like that and how ridiculous it was there we go he's a sword guy see ariana grand is my wife is one of my twitch tea sugar daddy sponsors along with imbattable g also in the chat haven't seen elliot dota in a while Fucking got all my other players are fucking subhuman scum. What do I do? That's every matchmaking uh, game. Is Blitz ever gonna stream again? He streams every now and then. I imagine Blitz's motivation to grind ranked matchmaking games is a lot lower than my own, given that he has reached an MMR, at which point there is no. Like, imagine that you are not, like, interested in playing on a pro team at the moment, and that you have 7k MMR, and that. You are already affiliated with a casting studio. Outside of doing shit for your casting studio, there's really not a whole lot to do, right? I think Blitz spends... But Blitz definitely still plays Dota a lot. and He still streams Dota, and he still plays, like, ranked matchmaking games. He's doing a lot of, like, actual, uh, like, work related to Dota, last I heard. And then, the last I was talking to him, he was, a lot, he was pretty busy with, like, Dota-related work for, like, studio stuff. And then... This one is in the bag. Let's play CSGO every now and then as well. Yeah, Blitz is too too busy doing JD work, yeah. More like it. Why do you think Stark is the best hero to grind safely no more? He's kinda like a storm spirit in a way. He's, he's very mobile. And he's not as team oriented as a lot of heroes. He fits US West as a server very well. Right here. Hmm. I think I should assert myself and get the bounty run here myself. Right. Or Slark has, bro. Nice one. I wish for the points more than anything else, and Slark is the bringer of points. We just spam click the rune because they have a bounty. Now that was smart of that guy to alt ping the Marana too. The battle begins. I don't mind that the Amber got that even if I wanted it. My mouse wasn't in the correct position there, which means if the bounty was spamming for it, he probably would have gotten it. The repeat command, you always get it. But the Ember positioned himself directly on top of where the rune spawned, which is what you have to do against Invisible Heroes, so that was good by him. And with his item build, the Bounty Rune will help him to get a faster bottle, because he's going to take a lot of damage against Queen of Pain in the lane, and he went for a Quelling Blade build, so he probably will have a tough time in that lane. Okay. Because he has low armor, and Queen of Pain is a high damage range hero, so... Come on. I want it. Ooh, we have the Lycan Roar, that's going to help every lane. Not too good. Our offline Lycan just has to play really carefully because his only role is to not die, and it's pretty obvious the enemy here has a high kill potential, you know, raking and stuff. You're mine now. Um, 
I can dual lane if you need help bottom. I don't think we need three heroes top for Marana. I mean, she's gonna be roaming on mid anyway. Indeed. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna rotate. It's a good idea. Okay, fun. Right. There's nothing that can happen in the first minute and half of the game that is more important than like the team morale though. And the Chikara seems to have a really good attitude, which is really good to see. Fuck! I ran and cast a spell, so my mana regeneration was not going to use. But Sark base damage is actually, what was it, 9? I should know. No, it's 8. I'm gonna pull this. Yeah. Alright, heading bot. Uh, I think Bounty right. is either chilling here. Nope, I saw him go in this right there. Yo, he's gonna snipe the courier. You need to be careful, right. dude. Pulling it back. Just uh. Just run to the tier two. Yeah. Yeah. We get flank. Go on. He's. Mm, my god. <laughs> I definitely like Jakiro's attitude in communication. None of the stuff he's saying is relevant to me though, so I always question, is it even worth hearing these things? But I, I like hearing that he has a good attitude and that he talks about things that matter to the game. Like, hey, there's bounty hunters, there's Sniper Courier. And then the Ember gets killed with the bounty, but it's fine. Like I said, it's the first three minutes of the game. It doesn't really matter that much. However, that does assert that bottom and mid are gonna have a rough time. Sorry, I'll try to get up on that warlock from now on. I didn't mean to push the wave. You sure? Yet again, that is something that is good to hear. It doesn't really affect me, but at the same time, if I were in that lane, I'd be like, hell yeah, he did something that was that. he didn't think was good, and More like it. he's not gonna do it again. Now you're talking. This thing's going really well. I'm getting a lot of farm. Like, total free farm. Nice. That again, it's like that shouldn't affect uh, what happens like nice. in the other lanes. Like I don't. No, how bad information. Oh god, that was bad. No, it's not total free farm anymore. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like I'm just gonna kill this actually. Oh no, I'm not. He's gonna solve it. At least the experience can split. Nice I have to stack and pull this for this to be worth it. Now you're done. Fish fingers. Damn, I might be dead to bounty. More like it. Right. Nope, bounty was meant. That's the effect the bounty has when he's on a counterpart like this, though. But the early game is not going very well. But morale is, yeah, again, still important. More so than not. Raking, though, so not too, too bad. Indeed. I'm still getting good farm. Yeah. Yeah, Raking has been getting good farm the past minute and a half since I came bot. And melee arrows against Shakiro. Me pretty right suffering. When I play Wraith King, I certainly don't like hitting Shakira dual lanes. A bot room. Yeah. Right. Probably gonna hit up mid afterwards, just letting you know. It's a good warning, Bounty Hunter's gone mid twice. Four, That's good, you have your ult. 
give it here. Fishy, fishy. Level 6 now. It's a very important level for Sark. This is blocked. It's not worth dewarding though. Right. No matter what's happening in the other lanes, I have to just continue focusing on my own shit. How much I can do to salvage the other lanes here, this early. Yeah. I'm good for now. A uh, lane ward might help, but I am still pretty hard to kill. Say there might be a bounty here. Looks like the ward has expired there, that's good. This way. Good. It's an odds on courier if you want to send it. Thank you. Your middle tower is under attack. That's good for when the support doesn't want to rotate all the way to your lane to place the thing. What this guy's doing. It's very smart. Place it myself when I push the line up. Mm -hmm. There's still a bounty here, so I have to be a little careful. That's at the bottom. Oh, never mind. Has been <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Motherfucker, indeed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, should, we should get him right now. Uh, over. Yeah. This way. I'm just standing here, so if the bounty is here, I can spot him. Yo, I gotta back out here. Hot him up. Now you're talking. <laughs> okay. Okay, bitch. Oh shit, she's actually gonna kill me. Hold on, honey. I have really low mana, so I'm gonna rotate through the woods. Thank you for your two dollars, Ariana yeah. Grandis, man. I thought we do thinking of it. So we can hold top. How can I predict that? There's no one, there's nothing I can do about that. That's just like That's just a fed bounty that's level seven from roaming that is able to get kills that are impactful. Fuck, I was so close to getting ice path off. We got the Wraith King, that's good. Yeah. Might get her too. No. Uh bounty, yeah, bounty stop you song. Sentry. Right. Oh. Um. 
Oh, I, was, I was wondering why she didn't just ult me earlier. If she had ult there that whole time. But we're gonna not be able to take fights here. And I'm not really gonna be able to farm, so it's gonna be a hard game. Now, the laning phase was good, but um, it looks like the Queen of Pain kind of crushed mid and the Bounty Hunter's really fed. But I expected the Queen of Pain to mid just because this guy went um, Stout Shield Quelling Blade, which isn't a good itemization against Queen of Pain. I hinted at it earlier, but I didn't really go into greater detail. But it's because Queen of Pain is a high damage ranged hero and Ember Spirit is a low armor melee hero. So, do we rotate more heroes to the bottom lane or something to help? This guy is going to respawn, I think, right? Okay, I just TP bottom. I can't farm our woods anyways because the bounty hunter's there. I'm just gonna rotate through the enemy woods. Your top tower is under I, I gotta back down that little bounty too. Okay, I'm gonna Sometimes the enemy woods are safer to farm than your own woods. And when that happens, you have to farm the enemy woods. That's one of the reasons that Storm Spirit and Slark are really nice though, because you can occupy space in the enemy woods more safely than other heroes because you're very bubble, so you're harder to kill. Like you can start looking to Roche. Oh my fucking god. No comment, Lycan can't start looking to Roche though, haha, <laughs> Lamau. Roche build. <laughs> now you're talking. They can see me when I'm around here, by the way. Oh the bounty is dead, which the means they have a ward here. We should deward it. It's worth dewarding. They can still see me. This is not good. They can see me when I'm all around here. I just placed a sentry here. Uh, never mind. I'm just gonna, I'm really confused. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> I'm gonna heal then I can come to the fight mid, but we need to bring heroes if we're gonna fight them. Yeah. I can definitely see me there at some point. Ember is getting a lot done though. His hero abilities are really good this game. Ember doesn't beat Quap anyways. Oh, Ember's They can still see me on there. I think I have vision on the mid ramp, maybe? Like, they can see me here too, like, ah. Uh. I think that's just bounty, though. That's bounty, I think, right now. Oh, never mind. Bounty's mid. What? I'll look into it more when the creeps are dead. My farm this game is still really good, though. This time I guess. I've seen 120 creeps at this point in the game, which is a lot of creeps. Level 13 Queen of Pain becomes very strong against me when she has Orchid at 15 minutes. Bottom hero is not very strong against me for a number of reasons though. Damn. If I got her there, I would have killed her. Once again, I have to just focus on my own play. There's nothing I can do while oh, going on mid. Like, I got a solo kill and I'm like, all fed mid or whatever. We have no Ember, so it's gonna be a bad fight no matter what. It's annoying because I can't farm in my woods because the fucking bounty hunter. Like, he might be on top of me right now. And I don't see the Queen of Pain who has an Orchid. Okay, good. She's no here. Your middle tower has That's fallen. That's right. Epic. Hard to keep your CS up when you can't occupy space anywhere. 
But luckily Stark is very hard to kill, and that's one of the things that makes him a pretty good farmer. Aside from the fact that he farms quickly nearly anyways. Oh, there's a bounty on me. Epic. Over here. Right. Also, he can occupy space in the enemy woods, which is very, very important, and is something that Stormspirit can do as well. Can we fight them? More like it. What? What? The two automation message was, is building life so the same way you build Stark stop mines for dumps maybe legit? No, life so doesn't farm fast enough. We have to bring heroes. The racing has no ult if we want to bring heroes at him. Press buttons. Dust, sentry. Drop your sentry. Nice. Good ults. I'm TP. Fuck, I missed skill. That was my bad. Nice, good shit guys. I got like 1,000 votes from that or something. <laughs> awesome. I really like the Shakiro a lot. Even if we lose, I think this guy deserves a fucking commend for actually the non-sarcastic friendly commend. Because he's really friendly and communicative. This game could definitely go either way though. It's such a yeah, what do you guys want me to build this game? Hmm, like a four staff maybe? Or hmm, wait, wait, maybe not, maybe not. He has a lot of gold. That's a good question. What should he get? Hmm. Ne Necro would be actually really good because they have bounty hunter and wraith king. Necro three, if you could afford it. Okay. Yeah, I can work towards that. It also make you really tanky too. Yeah. You need a lot of plus stats on Sark to be able to farm the Ancients, unfortunately. I like it. I'll take you. HOW?! Why?! What?! Ogre, can you help me start buying they didn't even have vision there! Awesome. Damn, that's close. I was gonna comment on how it's like how like farming that I don't know if there's a bounty hunter who's like you know on top of me, but still, what the fuck? Oops. I might use the choir gift command, not say jungle. No, they didn't have vision there. Did they? Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. The queen of pain blinked onto me too. They knew I was there at the very least. Your middle tower is under attack. I thought that I stood around for long enough to test, though. Actually, I guess if they have a ward right where we have a ward, I, w I can't stand around here. I have to stand way closer. Like, if they have a ward up here towards the bottom right, yeah, that's always a good idea. they must have a ward on the bottom right here. That has to be it. Can we kill bottom? Can we kill bot? Bottom tower. The is just falling. You know, I mean, I, oh, there was obviously a DH on me. Like, that became obvious. Like, I, I debated just killing one of the creeps to get the gold from S and Y. No, no, it's not GG yet, dude. 
Can I hear your fucking complaints? Okay. Your bottom tower has fallen. We can easily win, it doesn't matter. Until they breach the high ground, we can easily win. Can we D ward here? They have vision. I think. That's right. They can see me when I'm here. They have a vision there. You sure? That would not have seen me if I was at the ancient stuff. We need sentries. This way. No, nah, sell your sell your sentries, dude. I'll do work myself. Okay. Nah, that's really no. Right. Roshan has fallen to the radius. We can't kill the Wraith King, we have to kill him like three times. In the fights we have to focus the Queen of Pain and the Bounty. Let's try. Uh, bounty has a dating, by the way. It's trolling. It's a Sand Bounty Island. Don't get caught. How can you see me here? They can see me when I'm here, they have a vision in our base. Or, or one of you is tracked and you're on top of me. Careful. Right through here. They have to have vision here. There's no way that they don't. Because the guy knew ours the ancients. So. Oh, they don't have vision on the ancients. Epic. Maybe it just expired, right, guys? Huh? Even though I'm split for my team, I'm in no danger because the bounty hunter should be with this team here, expecting potential attack hold if there's a fight. Tower has fallen. Yeah, he's there. Right. Now on. Now on. This is going to be all about taking a good fight under our tier three. Don't kill this guy! Kill Quap! Kill Quap! Kill Quap! Kill Quap! Kill Quap! Kill Quap! Oh, we lost. Wraith King down and we did it. That's his ultimate. Not his Aegis though. I'm back if we have anyone else. Can we run on him? Again? That's all I can do. Yeah, the BKB was pretty nasty. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, we're right clicking the wrong guy there. At least we got his Aegis, though. I don't think this is a very good ranking build, but I don't think he has to go very good build this game. I think he can go a lot of builds and win. We can still win though, but it's gonna be tough. That was good, guys. That was a lot of gold. Who snuffed me out? What? Oh, the wait. Oh, they didn't take any of our racks. What the fuck? Yeah, that was a lot of a lot of gold, and they what haven't racked us. <laughs> Throwing. All right, Necro two's up. This guy's gonna die. Someone made a complaint. Oh, I muted the this so guy because he complained about the. Yeah, or no, this wasn't the guy who complained about the Amber. Ember, there was the other guy who complained about Ember's items, but I don't need, I don't want to hear complaints about my allies. I just want to try to win. Oh my lord, this guy is farmed. Well, I only plan to stream one game today, but I'll probably stream another even if I lose this one. I had low expectations nice. given how today started, so... There's no escape. 
Anyone know uh, Roche time? Let me get some wards up around it just in case. Yeah. Can we look to fight them actually? The right team. Get, get a sentry down, get a sentry down on and help. Get a sentry down and help. Cast your spells, just cast your spells before you die. Oh my god, summon your necro, cast your thing. You can cast both. You can cast Ice Path and the other one in front of you. Actually, that's the good thing about the two hero. Oh, what a hard game. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, you can't. Some games you win, some games you lose. I'm kind of annoyed though because I lost. Uh, like, I've been winning the vast majority of my games. Like, even. I've been playing Slark and Sulk, it's like the only hero I play. Anything above like 55% win rate in Sulk Q is good. And I have. Uh, I'm 25 and 10 on Slark and Sulk Q. That's really, really good for Sulk Q. But I'm annoyed because every one of my losses is some fucking idiot. Like, this game I lost because. Uh, or not this game. Oops. No? There's the one with Skits, and it's like, I lost that one because I got sniped by Skits, and instead of buying detection, he wanted to ping a Sage's Mask and be simply epic. And then there was the At Rape one, and I lost that one because At Rape decided to, I mean, God for, I mean, who, who would have known that someone named At Rape would have told that? We should smoke when I respawn. But, um, but this one, I'm actually, the enemies just played better than us, I guess. I mean, the Bounty Hunter got a lot done, too. Like, a lot. I'd say the enemy team... Like the bounty hunter is like one of their MVPs. The co-op did really well. He, he just doesn't come with us for the smoke. We just have to go smoke and run out of here. Even if we get a good smoke, we still have to win a fight at like our high ground too. Basically, it's a okay Ember, epic, good flame guard, good shit. I'm pretty sure they saw that smoke on Ember. That's fine. More like it. Also, it's just two of us. Yeah, we're That's lacking in the coordination department, it would seem. Look, the enemies are pushing at us mid-team. We should uh, try to take a good fight. Oh, Quat blinked into us. Team, Quat blinked into us. Run and attack her. Oh, she got away. Disaster. I know. I'm, I was referring to the hero that only does auto-attack damage, though. That she blinked into. I'm not gonna say the Lycan's skill was a little confused. Oh, it looks like I died. I was looking away. It was a pretty entertaining death under tower, though. <laughs> I'm a little. I was a little. I had low expectations when I saw the headdress and bracer build, but um, <sighs> that death, that was a bad death there. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Your bottom tower is under attack. Wait, what? Holy Your shit. Tower has oh no, that's not Your good! Wait, you, these are invisible and provide valuable scouting information. I didn't even see that. I assume when I looked at him and he had a bracer and he was level 8. He didn't have his wolves leveled, and I thought that was fine because there are some builds that don't involve leveling your wolves until last, and I mean, those items are all components for something, but. Whatever. I don't want to focus on my team's play. Like, I don't give a shit. That's whatever. Run at them one last time, team. Let's do this. It's called Defense of the Ancient, not Defense of the Wild. Let's get in there. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so slow. Team, we haven't lost ancient yet. Your ancient 
Help! Help! Everyone is playing so bad, actually. There's no way we can win this game. Everyone's so fucking. Uh, I don't want to focus on my on my team, but everyone in this game is fucking awful. We still have one Rax. Yes, I didn't want the catapult or anything. Uh, it was like it was my my shadow blade, guys. So, uh... you sure? See, I like I want a flame right now, but I'm not going to. Commented. Positivity. That seems like he's flaming you for having a Necro 1. Which is odd because I could swear that there was some sort of build of Lycan that involved summoned units that was good. Right. Oh, never mind, he's not flaming. I apologize, dude. I was just being a dick to you for no reason. We can still win though. Oh shit, there's a bounty. There's a bounty? Oh, I missed my I missed my pounce. Just back off. Like or the Lycan was um he was making a joke about his own farm. Like he was poking fun at himself, but it's okay. Then I then I went off on him for not loving his wolves, which is inappropriate. I shouldn't do that. It's uh it's being a rude dude, haha. <laughs> Wouldn't wanna do that. Does the Silver Edge Invis last for longer than the... Ow. It's okay, bait it. We can fight, we can fight, we can fight! No we can actually just focus our thrones. That's so funny to like try hard in a fight like this because the enemies are good. They can just attack the throne that has 900 HP and no fort and 15 armor. It has less HP than any of our heroes that are alive. Wow. Look, every hero on our team has more HP than the throne. Epic. We don't. Uh, if we win this game, we're going to lose my shit though. We don't deserve to win this game. Your ancient is under attack. I say we can fight, we can fight because we have to fight, not because we can actually fight. Like, that's called like trying to win a, a losing game. Like, uh, the, our throne is exposed and we have no fort, so if we don't take the fight outside of our base, then the enemies are going to realize very clearly that the right team can just right click onto the throne and they win the game. Epic, right? Like, there's nothing you can actually do to win a game like this. If the enemies are smart, like the, the Queen of Pain just blinks on the throne and the right king just right clicks on it, then what do you do? You just lose. Like, that's. There's literally nothing you can do to win. You, you Like, the, the Queen of Pain blinks and starts autoing your throne, and the Reign of King, or. <laughs> The Wraith King that has a fucking heart and a Desolator can just right click on your throne. Awesome, thanks. And you lose. But instead, the enemies are trying to push our Rax that has collectively like five times the HP of our throne. Unbelievable, good shit. Quality Dota, it's like I'm playing on EU West except everyone has 1500 less MMR. Nice, the Bounty Hunter pick, woo! Look at that, that's 1500 gold on everyone. What was that one worth? 900. Mm. Love this first. Over here, grief for madness. <laughs> I'm throwing something angry there, something. We can't take a fight in our base because we have no fort. Don't get caught. We can't fight in our base ever. Come on. Nope. <laughs> worth it, dude. Worth it. What if it was real? What if it was real, right? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Good point. It's hopeful play. That's right. <laughs> I really like this guy. That's why they are uh, playing the ball through the swing and we're not a baseball dude. <laughs> this guy's pretty fucking cool. Nice one. With Sunner, Sunner? Can we change some? Oh shit, we, oh, this is odd because we have no. We, oh, we have our fort, but I don't know. They can see me when I'm here too. They can actually see me, like I, I'm revealed. 
Right through here. Uh, we have to fight them at our ramp, guys, because our our throne is very low. Do I have buyouts on anyone? Like, anyone have buyout? Oh boy. Um, oh, hey, hey, good news, good news. They're pushing our racks, not our throne. Oh no. Game losing. Yeah, game losing missed pounce. Tracked. Ember, go bot. Ember, go bot. Just have a remnant top, Ember. Have a remnant top and then go bot. I don't know if this guy can actually hear my mic. Can they see me? No. Nice, only got one rock. Our ancient is dying, so we actually lose. These enemies are not good. This guy can just right click our throne, they win. Go fight, go kill the quap. She knows. She knows that she can win the game by right clicking our throne. You have to hit the quap. She's hitting our throne. We're gonna lose. The throne has 280 HP, guys. The quap knows what she's doing now. She's realized. She's seen the throne. Yeah. Nice. Eliminated by ogre skill. Go fuck him up. Alright. The Wraith King, I think he's won the game. I can't fight that. Uh, more dots, more dots! <laughs> oh shit. He's gonna right click the throne now, just wait. He's gonna be like, alright, fuck it. Is he going for megas? What is wrong with this guy? Alright, <laughs> right, good attitude, Fink. Good game, guys. We'll get 25 points the next time. Except this guy, this guy has a terrible attitude, but he's not worth marking. I thought he had so much to say, haha, got you, actually, yeah. I think he was just memeing? I, I don't know what, what, what that even means. Five donation from Embattable G. Fuck you, Barney. Have some money. It seems so does not nice today. To you and me. So may the shine of the Twitch dollars lighten up your day. Thank you. The shine of the Twitch dollars always lightens my day. But at least I got the free win at the start of the day. But that was like a BS game. Usually the first game of the day is like the best game of the day. But that one was like an enemy rage quit. And then there was some undying that just kept saying 1k carry, 2k carry. If I lose another, I'll probably take a break. It's been a long time since I've lost three games in a row. So I will probably just like take a break if I lose three in a row. How many of these games have been hashtag real? It seems not tweeting about the stream helps. I mean, I wouldn't. I just forgot to tweet it when I went live. But, like, I wouldn't not tweet just to avoid stream sniping. What's up, Scipio? I'll probably play one and then take a break anyways afterwards, actually. Play troll. Uh... Hmm. 
I think I'll play Slark again, and then after I take a break, I will come back, and then I'll just grind out gyro games. And then people will, um, everyone who's like, wow, another Slark game? The new hero will be Gyro, and then I'll play Gyro until you guys never want to see Gyro again. Except I think Gyro is kind of more fun to watch. I think people respond better to Gyro hitting the creeps too. Oh my god, Gyro's early game is so much better than Slark, actually. Holy shit, Gyro really might be the hero if, um... Okay, so Gyro has this issue. If you're losing and you can't occupy space, it's really, really rough because Gyro is not very mobile. But Gyro brings a lot of damage, Gyro farms really, really quickly. He has the Luna issue where people can run at you, and that really sucks if certain heroes get really, really strong. Because Slark is very, very hard to kill, he's very mobile. But Gyro wins lanes because Gyro is a high armor ranged hero that itemizes into damage who has spells that do damage from a range, and a short range, high damage, damage to turn ability. So he's very, 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 very lane winning hero. And in this version, there's a lot of off lane heroes where it's like, their whole purpose is to like win the lane. And it's like they either, they either just end up useless feed bitches, or they end up like a core that was in the lane, and you end up like a poor core. Yeah, pressure drive is definitely not good anymore. Yeah, Undying is really good now. Gyro is pretty solid against Undying though. They did some things, uh to like the hero and the item, but Jao is in a really good position relative to where he has been in the past, but not as, I don't know, when Jaro was like the best hero, that was really cool. A lot of that had to do with his 20 second flak cooldown in the hero pool. But the hero seems pretty solid now, and the farming rotations are still the same, so I have a lot of practice with Jaro Copter farming rotations. However, some people will try to force you into a support position, though, if I play Gyro. That will not be fun. I can go, like, semi-AFK during the queue here. The queues are starting to become kind of long, but this isn't the worst time of day to queue. This is a pretty decent time of day to queue, actually. Prime time comes in a couple hours, though, and I want to be around during prime time. I'm usually not on queuing during prime time. I'm usually on queuing at odd hours, but, um... Hmm. I only thought I was going to stream, like, one game today, but then I figured, you know, maybe I'll stream some more. I think I'll stream a good amount today. That'll be good. I don't actually know what a yasp.co is. Yeah, eventually I'll just grind out enough uh, gyro games that you guys never want to see gyro again.
I'm debating maybe just muting the enemy team at the start of the game. It's one of those things where I've thought about being my own team and the enemy team, but it's more like, what could the enemy team possibly say that I, that I would give a shit about hearing? Like, 90% chance it's going to be them bitching about their own team if I hear them. I mean, that's good because, you know, the enemy team morale is low, but that shouldn't affect what I'm doing in my own game. I'm just going to mute them on. I don't want to hear what they say, I guess. Yeah, I'll play Gyro. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Uh. Okay. Oh, never mind. Your turn to pick. I was confused there because I wanted, like, I figure one thing I'm really worried about, and if this ever happens to me, I'm just not going to pick Gyro. Where, like, people think that you're um, a support, and it's like, I want to be a core. Like, I don't know if I have to specify that. What do you guys think? Do I have to say anything? Or, like, should it be obvious I want to be a core? I don't know. Like, I want to hit the creeps. Yeah, I'm done with the all chatting shit. No, no, I, I unmute. If I unmute the enemy team, I'll unmute. Like, I'll, or if I mute the enemy team, I'll unmute him at the end of the match. <laughs> yeah, the Olympic guy has it right. I usually unmute everyone at the end except the uncontrollable retards. Yeah, why'd you guys ban the folks? Alright, I'm going to re-add one mod every day that I stream up until... I was going to say up until some mod number, but realistically, I would be surprised if I continued streaming for long enough for there to be a mod issue again. And then if that ever happened again, I could just purge all the mods. But today, the mod is Moo, because he gets the, the big deal sword, you know, cross mod, and he's in the chat. And I, I Mostly, I just want to see what he's saying. There are a couple people I have, uh, I have thinking that I wanted to mod as well. Tremble in fear plebs. There we go. Actually, Moo, Moo hardly counts. Moo hardly counts. I'll, I'll mod someone at the end. But that's when I'm done streaming for the day. I'm not done today. Like, mm, I'm about to remove Moo's mod. No, 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 never mind. Moo's, Moo's no Nazi mod. No one's going to be afraid of Moo's power. His name is Moo, and it's pink. That's like the least threatening type of mod there is, right? Like, someone like Kazaki could never be mod again. He lives in an Eastern European country. His name is Red. He spammed the, or he put the Dan's Game emote in the chat. Oh, there's like a hair in my mouth there. That's like a, a threatening looking emote. Like, Jesus, like he's just going to scare everyone away. He, there's no way he'd be able to handle the power. But Moo, I mean, Moo is like... I mean, people might think that he's a, a girl until they see his MMR. Then they're going to realize he's uh, the manliest uh, rank matching player that there is. Or something like that. I just thought about this. Am I going to grind out a bunch of games on this hero? I'm sure as fuck going to be doing a 3 regen build. And unlike Slark if, or a Stout Shield hero, if I do a 3 regen build, I want the branch because I only have 18 strength. So. You can't ban the broadcaster. You can't ban the broadcaster. I mean, doesn't Moo listen to little Japanese girl music too? Like the last time I listened to his, his stream, he was listening to to little Japanese girl music. Until it has been spilled. Hmm. Never mind. Repositioning. 30 seconds to battle. May the drow keep you safe. Alright, let's listen to Moose's favorite song. Hey guys, we still have to win the game.
Oops. Great game, guys. We did it. I'm actually... That's actually... Holy shit! Wait. 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 This is... This is perfect. This, is, this just reaffirms how much I don't want to hear the enemy team's all chat. This is... This is Dota 2's way of rewarding me for muting the enemy team. I don't want to know why this fucking retard ran down the middle lane to feed. Like, he just ruined the game for nine people. He just... I don't give a shit. He has some sort of fucking Down Syndrome autism. I don't know. I don't want to hear it. I just want to collect my points and move on, I guess. What the fuck is his issue? I get the feeling that what happened is that he was mad that he had a Juggernaut and a Slark. And he's like... He's like, that's it. That's it, I'm, I'm done. But I didn't even realize I had the whole entire enemy team muted. Fuck yeah. Well? Hmm. You know guys, I have to say, this was a great, uh, great day so far. Uh... My two wins really felt like I deserved it between the rage quitting uh, after feeding Morphling and the intentional uh, rage quit feed Wraith King. You know, felt like I didn't deserve any wins for the losses I got. Well, okay, in all seriousness, the games that I lost, sometimes you just get losing games. And at least one of those games, one of the support players was really, really communicative and cool. And then one of the losses I felt a little bit... I felt like I got fucked by the guy, the at-rape guy, like, you know, intentionally, like, AFKing the wall or whatever. But at the same time, that's not nearly as bad as, like, just immediately feeding the game. Because there's no way you can win if your race team just runs down to the Tier 2 middle. But I feel like... I said I was going to take a break if I got another loss, but... I mean, that was a win. I sure deserved it. And then I said I was going to take a break anyways, so... I'll probably just take a break, then I'll come back and play more games. But my mood was not that great when I started the day, because the day started with uh, not pleasant real-life shit. But then, I don't know, things are okay. And I feel like it's like the day has just reset in a way, because I didn't gain points, I didn't lose points. But I want to either gain points or lose points. I feel like I want to play not Slark anymore, though. Usually what happens is I autistically grind a hero for a whole bunch of games, and then I either stop winning. It, I usually just stop winning, and then I pick a new hero. Overall, I think my solo queue win rate on Sark is still really good. Like, I've still won a lot more than I've lost on the hero. But I think I can still win games on Sark. But the problem is that the only hero I've been playing is Sark. Like, I'm not even, like, a two-hero player. I'm, like, a one-hero player right now. And I, can, I know I can play heroes like Jug and stuff like that, but I feel like I want to try Gyro again because the last time I played Gyro in Party Queue, the hero was really good. I've heard people say good things about the hero. I've been withholding my judgment about the hero. I've been very, very cautious about the hero. And, yeah, so I think that when I come back, I'm going to keep grinding Gyro, and then everyone who's like, Barney, Barney, why, why, why more Slark? More Slark? Oh my god, Barney Slark again? Like, um, those people are going to be really happy for, like, a game and then they're gonna see so much gyro that they're gonna want to gouge their eyes out with a spoon but yeah anyways i will i'll be back soon but thank you guys for watching if you're new to the stream if you follow you know what comes online etc etc i love you guys goodbye